What's going on YouTube, GSNOW right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you who want to upgrade or downgrade using Future Restore for jailbreak purposes. The A13 and A14 version has finally been fixed. Adam posted quote, A13 and A14 support for Future Restore now fixed and pushed to the GitHub. Static macOS binary coming soon. For now just build manually. So as you probably remember the Future Restore which is the tool that we use in order to downgrade or upgrade using saved SHSH blobs was broken on the A13 and A14, which means that it wouldn't work on the iPhone 12, iPhone 11 and so on. So finally they released a patch and it's now working, but do remember that there are two different branches available here. One of them supports only A13 and A14 and the other supports only the other devices, like the A12 and lower. So you should definitely check out the proper branch because otherwise you're going to bootloop your device. So what's this useful for? Well for example if you're running iOS 13.5, you can do what this person did here and upgrade to 14.3 in order to use Odyssey jailbreak when it gets released. So this person tested the new Future Restore and they were successfully able to go to 14.3 even though iOS 14.3 is no longer signed as you can see from here and the iOS 14.3 RC or release candidate is also no longer signed. However they were able to go to 14.3 from 13.5 because they used Future Restore which was now fixed and you can do that too if you miss the opportunity if you manage to save your blobs with either TSS Saver or any other tool tool like the telegram bots or with system info and so on. So this person posted a quote, successfully restored an iPhone 10R, which is a 12 from 13.4.1 with uncover to 14.3 using Adam's fork of future restore with 14.x compatibility. I use the 14.4 SEP plus basement on macOS Catalina. Now to block updates, wait for Coolstar on iOS 14.0 to 14.3 jailbreak. So yes, if you want to go for example from 13.5 or 12 or 13.1, 13.2 where you are jailbroken with uncover, you want to jump to 14.3 and jailbreak with Odyssey when it gets released, you can definitely do so if you use the 14.4 SEP and baseband. I do have a tutorial on how to use this but it's an older one from iOS 13 so if you want a new tutorial tell me in the comment section down below and I will make a tutorial on how to upgrade using the future restore from an older version. Do keep in mind however that you cannot go from 14.4 to 14.3 because in order to be able to do this kind of procedure you will actually need to be jailbroken to be able to set the nonce from the blob. So you can only go up but not down. But this is still very useful because now with the fixed version of the A13 and A14 Future Restore, you will be able to jump from an older version and stay on a proper iOS version. For example from 12 or 13 all the way up to iOS 14.3 which does have much more features and it's actually quite close to whatever is currently the latest version. So you get to have more security patches, you get to have more bug fixes and you also get get the new iOS 14 features like the widgets and so on. So if you stayed on 13.7, 13.5 and so on for a long time, this is your last chance to actually upgrade to 14.3 and jailbreak in the future with ODC jailbreak. So this is actually great, it's great that it has been fixed, but I said something about two different versions. Well yes, there is this branch here called master and this one only works for devices before A13. So it says in here quote, only use this branch if you're not needing to restore an A13 or A14 device. If you you are needing to restore an A13 or A14 device, see this branch or else you will bootloop. A bootloop is basically when your device is no longer powering on and it just shows the Apple logo. So that's actually very bad because if you get in that state you will have to update the 14.4 or whatever is latest at that point, losing your chance to jailbreak. So only use this branch here from master if you want to upgrade an older device like an iPhone XS, XR, XS Max, an iPhone 10, an iPhone 8 and so on. If you want to use this on an iPhone 11 or iPhone 12 or any other pro mini or whatever you're going to have to use this branch from the a13 and a14 so make sure it's that one there this one says quote only use this branch if you are needing to restore an a13 or a14 device if you use it on any other device you will bootloop so make sure you get the proper version for the a12 and lower this one didn't get updated because this one worked fine but this one for the a13 and a14 was just updated however adam did make it clear that you cannot upgrade the 14.2 or the 14.0 or 14.0 one and so on, only go to 14.3 or 14.3 RC because the SEP and the basement are only compatible with 14.3 and 14.3 RC on the A12, A13 and A14. Get the latest version available here on the GitHub. For now there's no binary available so you're going to have to compile it yourself but you can also wait for the binary to be updated here on the releases. So yeah, that's basically it. If you want to get the Odyssey jailbreak but you failed to update in time, you can do it right now if you have the saved 
blobs. Thank you for watching INGOs now. Till the next time, subscribe, stay updated, and peace out.